Hello. In this video, we will cover the newest features available in the CN Maestro X 3.1.1 release. Here are the primary new features in this release, which includes support for new Wi Fi products, increased visibility, more scalable security, and much more. Please notice the X next to certain features. This indicates that the feature is only available in CN Maestro X and not available in CN Maestro Essentials. Please note that I have listed the features covered in this video and the time that they appear in the video so that you can fast forward to a particular feature if you wish to review it at a later date. The CN Maestro X 3.1.1 release adds full management support for the XE3-4, XE5-8, and XV2-2T1 access points. The XE5-8 is an industry-exclusive 5-radio high-density access point supporting 15.6 gigabits per second of total Wi-Fi bandwidth. The two XE series access points support Wi-Fi 6E with software-defined radios selectable between 5 GHz and 6 GHz operation. The XV2-2T1 is an ultra-long-range outdoor Wi-Fi 6 access point with integrated 120-degree sectored antennas capable of client connections over 1 km in distance. To configure the software-definable radios in the XE series of APs, go to the AP group radio page. In the Software Defined Radios section, you will be able to configure software definable radios for the XV3-8, XE3-4, and XE5-8 access points. CN Maestro X 3.1.1 includes visually enhanced monitoring and troubleshooting of links and activity on CN Wave 60 GHz networks. You can easily visualize a network's RF channel plan, which is color-coded, and GoLay code assignments, plus real-time uplink and downlink RF link performance KPIs, including MCS, RSSI, signal-to-noise ratio, and much more. To view the CN Wave 60 GHz network, go to the toolbar and to the map page and select the network you wish to review. In the configuration panel on the right side of the page, you will have access to a device overlay view and a link overlay view. In the device overlay view, you will review and configure the status of the devices, the channel and polarity of the radios, and the sector. Notice that the link status is color-coded, green for online and red for offline. If you hover your mouse over any one of the links, a window pops up with the link name, the distance, and the channel. Also notice that you can hover your mouse over any one of the APs to get the name, the type of device, and the site ID number. The channels on the radios are color-coded, and the polarity is indicated on each of the radios. In the Link Overlay view, you will review the status and health of the different links in your 60 GHz network. You can filter the mode by status, GoLay, signal-to-noise ratio, MCS, RSSI levels, and the link fade margin. CN Maestro X collects information about rogue devices detected around your network. You can view information such as SSIDs, channels, RSSI levels, and the nearest AP in your network to detect the rogue device. To view rogue activity in your network, go to Monitor and Manage, select a site, and then go to the WIDS page. On the WIDS page, you will be able to view rogue AP numbers over time and detailed information about the detected rogue devices. 
As the number of Wi-Fi 6E clients on Wi-Fi networks increase over time, the software-definable radios in Cambium's Wi-Fi 6E solutions can be leveraged to manage this transition. The new Wi-Fi 6E Migration Assistant consists of several CN Maestro X widgets to assist with this. The Connected 6E Client Capability widget tracks clients and recommends when it may be appropriate to switch software-definable radios from 5 GHz to 6 GHz. The new Client Capability History widget tracks client device capabilities over time, allowing you to monitor the 6E client trend. This also will assist with the decision to change 5 GHz radios to 6 GHz radios. To view the Wi-Fi 6E Migration Assistant widgets, go to Monitor and Manage and select your site. Scroll down just a little bit to view the two new widgets. These two new widgets indicate the device capabilities of the connected clients. When the 6E clients on the non-6 GHz radios indicator starts to climb, it is time to consider changing software-definable radios to 6 GHz. Click the Learn More link for more information about the details of your client device capabilities. CN Maestro X 3.1.1 adds support for managing Xeris Wi-Fi solutions together with Cambium's wireless fabric portfolio in a single console. This provides investment protection for existing Xeris customers migrating to Cambium's converged Wi-Fi 6 and 6E solutions over time. Please note that Xeris Access Point support in CN Maestro X requires AOS 8.7 on the Xeris Access Points, and if you're currently operating in XMS Enterprise, version 8.4 is required to automate the process of migrating APs from XMS Enterprise into CN Maestro X. To view the dashboard and configuration pages and troubleshooting pages for the Xeris access points, go to Monitor and Manage, select your Xeris access point, and you will be on the dashboard for that Xeris access point. The configuration page will allow you to configure the access point, and the tools page will allow you to troubleshoot the access point. CN Maestro X offers visibility into over 2,400 different applications operating across the Wi Fi network. The CN Maestro X 3.1.1 release adds support for application history on your entire network and sites in addition to existing visibility for individual client devices. To review the application usage history, go to Monitor and Manage and select your system level network. You will see the application history widget displaying the top applications, the top clients, the total bytes they have consumed, and the percentage of the traffic generated by that application. You can also see the same results by going to a site page and when reviewing the statistics for a specific client, the client dashboard displays applications on the dashboard and applications page for individual clients. Cambium Network's EPSKs provide individualized secure credentials that enable simple onboarding and efficient roaming on a single SSID across an entire Wi-Fi network. With the 3.1.1 release, Cambium has doubled EPSK scalability from 1,000 to 2,000 EPSKs per AP and increased the total number of EPSKs per account to 50,000. To create EPSKs, Go to Configuration if you have the cloud version of CN Maestro X, or go to Shared Settings if you have the on-premises version. Then go to AP Groups and Wireless LANs, and go to the Wireless LANs page, and open an existing Wireless LAN. Then go to the EPSK page. To add new EPSKs, click the Add New button, 
And to add them in bulk, click the bulk button, input the number of EPSKs you want the system to generate, enter a username prefix, and the VLAN you want these clients operating in when they do get on the network. And then click the save button. The system will generate the number of EPSKs and a passphrase for each account. You can import your own custom list of EPSK users. Also, you are able to configure EPSKs in a local database, or you can create RADIUS-based EPSKs. If you choose to go with RADIUS-based EPSKs, you will need to configure the RADIUS servers on the AAA Servers page. CN Maestro X has enhanced its packet capture capabilities by allowing you to add filters to a packet capture file. This empowers remote troubleshooting abilities to increase the efficiency and minimize on-site service requirements of managed service providers and distributed enterprises. To obtain a packet capture file on a device, go to Monitor and Manage and locate the device you need to run the packet capture file on. Then go to Tools and the Packet Capture page. Click the new Packet Capture button and select the interface you want to run the packet capture file on. To use the new pre-built filters, click the plus button under Filter Group and then click the plus button again under Filters and select a filter to apply to this packet capture file. You can also add additional filters if necessary. CN Maestro offers integration with SpectreLink phones for voice over Wi-Fi and Stanley AeroScout for real-time locationing services with Cambium Wi-Fi 6 solutions. To configure the integration of CN Maestro X with Stanley AeroScout, go to Configuration if you have the cloud version of CN Maestro X, or go to Shared Settings if you have the on-premises version. Then go to AP Groups and Wireless LANs, and open an existing AP group. Go to the Services page, and in the RTLS section, Expand Stanley AeroScout and enable either Wi Fi or Bluetooth, and then enter the IP address or host name of the system hosting your AeroScout engine. CN Maestro X offers integration with SpectreLink Voice over Wi Fi systems using CLI commands to optimize Cambium device performance for Voice over Wi Fi with SpectreLink phones. To optimize Cambium APs using the CLI, go to Manage and Monitor to Networks and select the AP you wish to work on. Then go to the Tools page and Remote CLI. Then type in the two CLI commands, Wireless WLAN 1 and Mapping-Voice 60,7 where 60 represents the DSCP value and 7 represents the WMM value. CN Maestro X 3.1.1 expands the existing API library to integrate with Cambium Wi-Fi devices, CN Matrix switches, and CN Wave 60 GHz products. This opens up powerful potential for connecting Cambium networks to analytics, engagement, security, or managed service systems. To view the system output on the new APIs, go to the Network Services API Client page, and then click the Swagger API Documentation link. This will open the Swagger API library. To go to the new APIs, click the Wi-Fi link to be taken directly to the Wi-Fi related APIs. Then select one of the APIs, click the Git button, and then click Try It Out, and then click Execute. 
Check the Responses section for the system output. CN Maestro X allows you to configure devices in bulk by importing a CSV file with location, management VLAN, radios, and wireless LANs settings. To configure AP settings in bulk, go to Monitor and Manage and select the site that you wish to work on. Then go to APs and AP Configuration. Select the APs you want to work with and then click the Configure button. Assign those APs to an AP group and then expand the Devices Overwrite section. Once again, select the devices you wish to work with and then import the CSV file with your settings. The Clients page displays details about client device general information, network information, Wi-Fi capabilities, and much more. Now you can view the client's current status, or a 24-hour history, or a 7-day history. To view a client's history, go to Monitor and Manage, System, and Clients. On the drop-down next to Clients, select the time period you wish to review, either current, 24 hours of history, or 7 days of history. Administrators can now get authenticated to CN Maestro X using OpenID Connect or SAML. CN Maestro X supports authentication and authorization with OpenID Connect identity servers and SAML identity providers such as Okta and CyberArk. This feature is available only in the on-premises version of CN Maestro X. To configure CN Maestro X to integrate with a third-party identity provider, go to Administration, Users, Authentication. Select either OpenID Connect or SAML and configure accordingly. Okay, this concludes this video highlighting the newest features in the CN Maestro X 3.1.1 release. Thank you for your time and have a great day.